with some of the heroes of SA Rugby, the Prince of Wingers, Carl Duplessis, the amazing legend that is Maniki Saru, and more recently, Corne Kricher and Guthrie Steenkamp. What do they all have in common? They all went to Paul Boys High. Now think of names like Jan Pickard, Scout Berger Sr., Scout Berger Jr., Kurbis Visa, Barley Swart, Devet Barry, and Jean de Villiers. All Park him old boys. For a town of only about 110,000 inhabitants, Paul's contribution to South African rugby is way out of proportion to its size. The fertile soil in the Paul Valley vineyards doesn't only produce some of the best wines in the world, it also grows some of the best rugby players. The entire town comes to a standstill during interschooler. Shops and businesses close down, butcheries sell out of all their biltong, and the bars are packed with old boys who have come from all over the country and overseas to be at this game. There are normally more spectators here than at a Super 14 or Curry Cup game. It's all about the pride, tradition, heritage, respect, and the glorious game of rugby. Serbia and Gideon were in Paul for Paul Boys vs. Paul Kim. It's Friday morning, the day before the big game, and behind me the boys are entering the hall for the prestigious capping ceremony of the first team. Let's go take a look. After the speeches, the parents of the first team boys are invited to cap their sons before the school. A few kilometers north, Turvi was at Palcham, where similar ceremonies were underway. Here, parents are also invited onto the stage to cap their sons for the big game the next day. When the big day finally dawns, the crowds have already packed the stands long beforehand. The weather is excellent and supporters from both schools are anticipating one of the tightest games in recent years. Okay guys, we're standing here right next to the field. Gideon, what do you think of the inter school so far and the vibe and the gears that exists in town? Well, Toby, I'll tell you, if you take a look at the, at the amount of people here today, people are saying 25,000 people. You don't get that anywhere else in the world. And I was speaking to someone last night um, where all the old boys go to have a few drinks to celebrate the game today. And she was comparing today uh, like the World Cup. There's posters all around town, there's brands all around town, but Toby, what do you think about Turkey? Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the stats of the game? Yeah, sure. They've been playing uh, for 92 years. Uh, Inter School started in 1929, and uh, this will be the 80th Inter Schools. Kim are leading by 39 victories to 32. They've drawn on eight occasions, but boys are the defending champions. They won last year by 24 points to 12, and I'm sure that it's going to be a tight game today and an epic battle. Thanks guys. Hello and welcome to FME Classic Clashes. We're in Pal in the Western Cape for this momentous occasion and this colossal clash between Pal Boys High and Pal Gymnasium. This clash is the biggest in South Africa, if not the biggest in the world. There are an estimated 20,000 to 25,000 people here in attendance and uh, Pal Boys are playing your screens from right to left. We can see the vice captain uh, Gavin Halplas kicking us off there in the blue and white stripes and Pal Gymnasium playing your screens from left to right in the red, green and yellow jerseys. Always join me in the commentary booth is in Afrikaans, Toby Baranos and...